Hi everyone, go to Luke here. Um, this video is uh, about the QEG, the quantum energy generator. You know, there's a lot of people that are uh, very hopeful about this uh, generator, and this video is going to uh, cover a few uh, tests that I've uh, been doing. So basically, about three, four days ago, uh, I had the idea to use a microwave oven transformer since I have so many of them and the uh, QEG has a very high inductance uh, primary so basically a secondary of a microwave oven transformer is in the range of uh, 15 to uh, maybe about no sorry about 10 to uh, about 20 uh, Henry's and uh, this um, would be a good uh, way to test uh, what happens when um, inductance of a microwave oven transformer is changed. Uh, one that's been cut open and uh, basically just with a grinder with a thin blade you cut the wells here on the uh, eye of the e-core and you could separate the transformer. So basically I hooked up my scope on this and to uh, just see what happens when I take away the uh, eye section here of the uh, transformer and um, I could see that there was activity on the oscilloscope and then I decided well it'd be great to have uh, something to uh, you know make this uh, go by the uh, transformer in a uh, rotary action and then uh, I've come up with this idea here. This is a box that I had for uh, protection uh, once I test coils uh, under high RPM. And I've got some pretty heavy duty latches on this here. So basically I have a two uh, horsepower a three phase uh, motor in there and um, I use a, a frequency drive controller that's it there to um, uh, have the motor turn at whatever frequency I want and um, in this box here I've uh, made my own rotor and basically what it is is it has the uh, there's two microwave oven transformers in there so they're connected in series and these are the eyes okay of each microwave oven transformer so here see now it's it's away on each side so there's the microwave oven transformer open there and then the motor obviously turns it here and there it is perfectly aligned and so it's closed. So the highest inductance is uh, there when that E, uh, that I is faced to the E's of the uh, transformers. And uh, basically uh, open, I have uh, six Henry's and with the I's in place, there is uh, 12 Henry's. So basically doubling the inductance so it's on, you know, the rotation happens like this. So, uh, and then I thought, well, <laughs> the uh, low impedance coil on the microwave on transfor transformer could be uh, used uh, for the load. And the ratio is very similar to what the QEG uh, has. So I put a lot of work in this and I made it like really pretty uh, heavy duty. And I got these pretty strong... Uh, sections here, uh, aluminum angles to hold these, like everything is very very tight and I had to have some really good tolerances as well because you can see how close I've got my cores there going. Uh, so there's hardly, uh, there's not much of an air gap there. So uh, I'll just give you a quick demo by uh, Plugging in my frequency drive controller here. Sorry about this here. Okay, so I'll just start it up uh, at a very low RPM or very low frequency. 
it's going to go to uh, 10 hertz. So there it is starting, just to show you what it looks like turning on its own. So right there, it's at uh, 10 hertz. So I'm gonna put the lid back down, on, back on this here. heavy-duty latches on there in case there's something that flies off so okay we're at 10 Hertz and if we look at the oscilloscope there uh, we can see uh, waveforms and uh, that's just the activity of the uh, cores going by the uh, front of the transformer like this so uh, I'll just slowly increase the frequency there and you'll notice that it changes. So I'm at 17 Hertz. Did you see that? There was just one resonant right there. Small resonance. So that's actually at about 15 Hertz there. Right there, it's at 15 hertz. Anyways, I'll just keep sweeping up here. See, now it's dropping down. I'm at 21 hertz. 22, 23, 24, 26. I saw another one there. 29, 30 hertz. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 43, 48, 49, 54, 57, 59, 63, 64, 64. That's 70 hertz. And there you see that it's slightly uh, coming back into a sine wave. And uh, if I keep increasing the frequency, uh, I won't right now because it gets out of control. Um, that starts like really uh, climbing up like fast. And it gets pretty scary. And it has to do with the amount of capacitance that you put uh, on that uh, high impedance coil. So that high impedance coil is coming right here. And I have my two uh, bulbs here on the two uh, low impedance coils of the uh, microwave oven transformer. And uh, actually I had this uh, capacitance here, I had these two in series. And um, it gets very scary because the whole box uh, starts to vibrate so much that it actually starts walking on the floor. And I've got rubber legs on that thing, and it's about 100 pounds with all that motor and the transformers in there, so it's like unbelievable. So if uh, I would recommend people not to criticize uh, this until you've done tests yourself, and uh, there could be something very valid here. And uh, I'll show you right now, I have that at uh, 70 hertz. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to keep increasing the frequency because suddenly uh, when this takes off, uh, everything starts shaking. I really haven't seen a light output on this yet because as soon as it starts shaking, I just like pull the plug out because it's just too scary. So um, truly, uh, I have to uh, confirm that there is something going on 
this uh, requires more uh, experiments and study and this video is just to uh, confirm to you uh, to be careful and not criticize uh, these uh, people who are sharing this and hopefully uh, more replications are going to come through and um, this is a good idea to uh, experiment with but like you really have to build this really really strong because it gets like I said very dangerous and you need a box like this to protect yourself so um, just gonna shut that down there you'll see it go down and I'll give you a shot uh, oh yeah what I'll do is I'll just pull the plug that way you know that this is not caused by this power here so I'll pull the plug and you'll see the uh, the waveform so I pull the plug now and look at the different resonance points and there you go it's now finally uh, stopped at rest so anyways uh, just thought I would share this and um, hopefully uh, people uh, will come up and uh, do more experiments uh, before confirming uh, or before you know making accusations that this might not be real this uh, has a lot of potential I think because uh, I haven't ever seen or ha I haven't ever experienced this uh, effect here of what's going on so it uh, seems to be uh, what they are saying uh, but you know more tests need to be done and I need to uh, probably build this uh, even uh, stronger anyways I uh, just thought I would share this and uh, hopefully uh, this can also uh, help others. Bye now.